Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you've created a report, it will appear in the database container where you can select it and then click the design button to bring up the report and design view. Here you can edit the selected report to change the placement of the fields, add or remove fields, or perhaps just format the report objects. Now in design view we can change many of the same aspects of reports that we changed in our forms. You can adjust the size of fields for format reporting. So if we click on a field you can then put your mouse pointer over the resizing handles and simply click and drag it out. You can also use the fill color, font color, line color, special effect buttons, all of the buttons that are available in the formatting toolbar to select objects in the report and format them as we'd like. Now whenever you make changes to report which you then wish to view, you can click the preview button in the database container or you can click the leftmost button in the standard toolbar if you are using the report design view to toggle to the other view. And every time a report is run, it if it has a query as its basis, will then run the query first to extract the data. And if the query happens to have parameters like this one does, you just have to fill them in and then you can preview it. Now you can also create a report from scratch in Design View. And this is much the same process that we used when we created new forms from scratch. You would first click Reports and then click the New button. And in the New Report dialog box, select Design View. Then use the drop-down at the bottom of the dialog box to select the query or table upon which you wish to base the report. Then click OK. Now one of the first things you'll notice about the report design view is that it is a little different from the form design view in the number of bands that we have in the report, such as page header, detail, or page footer. Each band title, which we can see as a gray section heading, refers to the section immediately below it, and you can tell by looking at the downward pointing arrows. You have a page header, a detail section, and a page footer. Now in a report, where you place the fields can greatly impact what data displays. Just as with the form design view, you can select the field list button, or select view and then field list from the menu bar to view the associated fields for the report and just as in our form design you then click and drag the fields from the field list into the various sections of the report. Now fields that are placed into the detail section display their information once for each record in the associated data source. Items placed into the page header or page footer just show once per page. So that makes those areas suitable for things like report labels or date timestamps, but not calculations, uh, nor usually data. Now you can add two or more useful sections to the report. You can add the report header and report footer to start with. You can enable these sections by selecting view from the menu bar, and then choosing report header footer. Fields that you place into the report header or the report footer will repeat themselves once at the top and once at the end of a report. So oftentimes you'll find report titles placed into the report header section and the report footer section at the bottom is often where you'll see grand totals of another field in a report. You can create many additional header footer combinations if you have additional groupings within the data of your report which we'll examine in a later lesson. Now in addition to the field list, you also have the control toolbox available. And we can use that in our report design view just like we did in our form design view. So you can use the controls in this box to add labels, images, or custom calculated fields that you create to your report. And once again, you just simply click on the button, and then click and drag in the area you would like the selected object to go. So here we're adding in a field for the report title, and it's just a label field. Now these different bands also can be resized. If you put your mouse pointer at the bottom of any band and drag down, you'll increase 
or decrease the size of that band. So if for example I didn't want a page header to display, I could simply resize it until the page header was gone and the page footer was the same thing. Or if we don't need all this detail, we can get rid of extra detail sections. So you can change the width of the different sections. You can also change the size of the entire view, just like in Form Design View, by moving over the outer edge till you see a resizing icon, and then clicking and dragging. Now to add the data fields, you can just drag them in. And remember that things in the details section print once for each record. So these tend to be the sections that we see the most of. And for that reason, we tend to not want to have a lot of extra space in our details, since that would also take up valuable pages. So we tend to trim these down just a little bit. And then if you'd like to preview your changes, you can click the preview button at the left end of the database toolbar fill in any necessary parameters for the query. And here you can see a rough idea of how this is going to look. Now when you're in the print preview of the report, you can double check and see that the data is displaying the way that you want, and if not, you can return to design view by clicking the leftmost button on the database toolbar. You can also view multiple pages at a time using the little green buttons in the print preview toolbar so I could see two pages at a time. Or if you wanted to, you could click the multiple pages button, click and drag down how many pages you'd like to see at once. And then you can click on each one to zoom in. Now if you're viewing one page at a time, you can also use the page navigators in the lower left corner to flip through the pages in the report. Now when you're ready to return to the report, you can go to Design View, and once again, if you'd like to save the report, just click Save and give the report a name. And click OK. Close it out, and you should see it appear in your database container. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.